Hey guys, Chili Beast here, and today I'm doing my other part of the Q&A video for my 15,000 sub support video. Um, I actually had already, already did this part of the video, the intro, but something happened where my camera lost battery power, and um, so <clears throat> 15,000 subscribers, year and a half. I just want to th thank you guys so much. Really appreciate all the support. Um, so, like I said, on here, I'm starting uh, newest comments, scrolling all the way down. Try and see if you can find where your 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 question is going to be by that. So the first one is going to be Tommy Ripton, and he says. Congrats, I just got my order of Fat Cat Sauces. I got the four pack of Mild, and they're all really good. Thanks for the suggestion, great video. So you're gonna see me in the next part of the video talk about how, um, sorry because the other, because when the battery went dead, the file um, actually also got corrupted, and what I had recorded before, for some reason I can't recover, so we're gonna start from there basically. Next one up is Bart. Really appreciate you guys. Um, trying my best to become more comfortable on camera. So if you scroll to the end, uh, I'll tell you where the name Gotta Go Video came from. Um, so stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for more challenges. Right now, my tolerance is just regular, but I'm going to start increasing it soon. So watch out. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Sorry about that. I had a little technical difficulty. My, <clears throat> my, my battery died, so I had to charge it for a few hours. So here we are back again. and. Here we are at BART. Greetings from Poland, mate. It's been a big pleasure watching your challenges. This year, I start to prepare my first hot sauces. Sem, sem menu, sem menu. Thank you very much for, for your comment. Next up is Owen Rierschel. When, how did you discover your tolerance for extreme spicy foods and sauces? I would say it was probably um, when I was in Thailand a couple years ago. Um, this is when I really started to build up my tolerance. I walked around, I always had a bag of Thai chilies with me, and I ate them with every meal. That quickly built my tolerance up for that one month I was in Thailand. By the end of the month, you know, I was eating like 70 Thai chilies per meal. Um, so that was, and that was about two years ago, basically. And then the following summer, I went to Vegas, took on a hot wing challenge at Diablo's, Diablo's Cantina, did their ghost wing challenge, and um, smashed it. Actually, the first time I did the challenge, I actually failed because I had just uh, came from a buffet across the street and uh, I was I was full and the challenge is 20 wings I couldn't eat 20 wings period um, so I actually came back the very next day at lunchtime and uh, I think I did the 20 wings in like I want to say seven minutes six minutes I don't know pretty fast. Um, Jay Brown, look at you, congrats. Think one day you'll surpass, uh, I don't want any kind of hate or any kind of drama, okay? <clears throat> I'm looking to get 100,000 subs by the end of this year. Let's see, next up is Declan Beern. He says, you're the Spice King. 
Thank you. Next up, Cutlery Lover. Congratulations. Jeff, we definitely have to do a collab. Um, or maybe I can just do a chili spicy challenge and you can sh showcase it on your channel. Okay, next up, uh, this is a guy who's, um, I also know on Facebook, he's a real nice guy. Guitarist JD. Hey, what's up, buddy? Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, and just, anyone knows me, I, I don't drink beer, but I love coffee. I, I could drink easily, I could brew a quarter pound of coffee beans a day. And I, I usually use my French press, but I also go to Starbucks. Wow, it's actually not bad for a stout. No, I don't taste any sriracha. It tastes like a stout. Um, next up is a cartilage 88. Congrats on your channel. The reason I feel you have such a success is you're generally a good guy and people feel comfortable with you. Love the channel. Keep it up. Thank you. Um, the channel has come a long way from my first video which was just like a selfie video of me eating a scorpion pepper dried scorpion pepper then just I decided to just keep on challenging myself uh, I ate seven dried scorpions and seven fresh Hawaiian um, and then eventually Ted Barris challenged me and I started my own fresh pepper challenges um, starting to become more comfortable on camera uh, so thank you Steamboats keep making great videos thank you keep watching Armor Kinger congrats on your channel and happy birthday to your little girl. Yeah, Angel. Keep up the good work, dude. Sarah H. Very nice. Sarah's awesome. You go, Jason. Be proud. You're a good, humble man. I don't do chilies. I just like watching vids. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sarah. I should just do a, uh, I should have a drink every, every one. John Butkus, congrats. Your videos are a lot of fun to watch, so keep up the good work. I have a chili question. Do the cramps get better the more you eat super hot, or are they always there, no matter how many times you eat the pepper? And the best way to answer that is yes it does get better but if you take two or three weeks off there is a, you have to reinitialize that startup again next you know you eat a few reapers you get bad cramps you know it, it takes um, practice but definitely gets uh, better but when you eat like a dozen of these super hots your body eventually has to break it down and for me whether it's, if it's at the five or six or seven hours after if I'm still just trying to my stomach is still trying to just digest that last little bit all of a sudden I can get cramps very bad next up Mark Thompson congratulations on your growth I was one of your earlier subs and enjoyed all your videos keep up the good work I look forward to many more vids Thank you. I really appreciate. Actually, I missed a couple, so. Next up is 30 Chompy. Congrats on your 15,000. That's awesome. Also, thank you for subscribing to me. I did not expect that at all. It really made my day. 
Your videos are always fun to watch, and you are indeed a beast. I hope your channel continues to grow even faster than this incredible milestone. My question, how long did you think you could go, how long do you think you could go without having any spicy foods? Cheers. Uh, I probably could go forever without spicy foods, probably. Uh, my first girlfriend, uh, the first time I was ever introduced into, to spicy was uh, when I was 16. My first girlfriend was Laotian. Um, and I used to eat at her house very often. Uh, and I ate her her level of spicy and her family's level of spicy. If you don't know, Laotian eat the most hot, I would say, would be Laotian or Indian. Thai would be next. Um, so, so then she went off to college and never really kind of, we kind of broke up. But I didn't eat spicy for maybe, hmm, let's see, 15 years. So, but when I started back up, I really, I enjoyed it so much. Um, but I could go, I mean, forever. I mean, it's not, it's not really like an addiction. Uh, kind of like an addiction. I mean, you definitely enjoy the, the flavor and the, the heat, the spicy uh, sensation, but it's not really that kind of addiction. It's not something your body craves. So, wait, okay. Next up is Ring Boss. Hey Jason. My question is, how come you don't do videos at the Wild Bean anymore? Um, it's because I don't like to be single. That's why. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, I, I filmed those wrong. I should have been in the camera view instead of being behind the camera. If I was ever going to do those again, I, I would do them totally different. I think they're a great idea, but uh, I'll leave that for another person to, to try that. Next up is... Okay. By the way, no heat. Griff, Griffin, 84. Which is your favorite chili fruit? Hmm. When it comes to the stable strains, I'd have to say chocolate scorpion. Next up is red o beets. I remember when I subscribed to your channel, oh, that was a long time ago. You only had, I actually remember this guy. You got only five videos, but you ate those goose peppers like they were candy. I don't think anyone on YouTube does any hot eating challenges that are comparable to yours. You are the real beast, and I hope your channel keeps growing like that. Sorry for the bad English, and keep going. You are, you are the man. Thank you, Riddle Beats. Thank you very much. This is actually a good beer. Um, it's, if, I was gonna surprise, if, I, if I'm going to compare this to a very well-known st uh, stout called Guinness, um, I think it's, it's actually much better than Guinness. I'm not really tasting... I don't taste any peppers. I don't taste sriracha either. Uh, let's see. Next up, Jason Alexander. Hey Jason, how long have you lived in Hawaii and how do you like it? I've been in Hawaii for about eight years and I love it. People are super friendly, very, very kind, um, very easygoing, laid back, you know. Awesome weather makes everyone a little bit happier, I think. People are just, in general, in pretty good mood. Um, 
there's I definitely have my a few bad feelings about not bad not, not bad feelings but I have my pet peeves of Hawaii and uh, some of those are that they do things the, the island way here and a lot of times that means that they they cut corners and they also are going to uh, do things the cheapest way possible the quickest way possible and a lot of times they end up having to go back many times over to, to fix the same thing they should have done the thing right the first time with craftsmanship but here no, hurry up just do it and just make them work um, and another thing I don't like is that uh, super small parking spots um, but awesome weather really friendly people uh, a lot of Asian uh, Asian community which I, I love the food I love the, the hard-working Asian ethics they work hard, they love family, um, so I like that. Next up is Sean Oldfield. Your videos are great and consistent. I'm excited for another year. Keep it up! Thank you, Sean. Like I said, I never drink. Only on special occasions. I, I actually I think it's a bad idea to drink all the time. Um, kind of uh, what it kills brain cells. If you have maybe if you have one beer a day, that's not bad because it's gonna help. Actually, it has a ton of antioxidants. Um, has supposed to be good for your blood. Thins your blood a little bit. Helps to break up calcium on the inside of your veins, right? Um, Anything more than one beer, you're destroying um, way too many brain cells, and, and you're destroying a part of your brain that's, that tells you tells you to stop doing stuff, right? Your your your, inhibit your, your inhibitions and all that kind of stuff. I don't think it's a good idea to like drink a six pack a day. That's terrible, actually. But anyways, next up is Captain Derp. <laughs> nice nice name. Congratulations. Once I saw your chocolate bootla video last year, I knew I had a unique channel. What the fudge? This crazy a asshole in a suit and tie just ate two of those like it was nothing. Cheers. Thank you. Next up is Tyler McDavid. What's your favorite chili? I just answered that. Chocolate Scorpion. And Anonymous knew that. He, he, he actually uh, answered for me. Uh, next up, Raphael, and it looks like, I think, Japanese? I'm not sure. You're the king, buddy. Congrats, and I wish you the best to come. Thank you. Next up is Budro Hammond. Congratulations, Jason. I like the pain embrace. The pain, enjoy the pain, feel the burn, that's the question that drives us. Can you handle it or not? I'm missing some periods there. <laughs> handle it or not. So take a big pepper and hang on. Unless you're the chili beast, it might take 10 or 20 peppers. <laughs> yeah. Glad your channel is growing. Thank you. Next up, Steven, stand by and fire. This guy's awesome. Good friend of mine. Don't forget the little guys that help you out. So I forgot to mention him. This is the creator of the chocolate bootla. Awesome pepper. Um, and he's now working with Pucker Butt, which is awesome. Ed Curry rocks. Ed Curry is my hero. And it says, congrats on the 15,000 mark. And continue Jay's success. Thanks, Stephen. Thank you very much. Next up is... And Vab. You're most welcome. Vaughn brought me here. Vaughn is awesome. I love Vaughn. Vaughn and Nader rock. <clears throat> I like your profile pic. Alright, next up is C Square D's back. 
Congrats, brother. Was wondering if you'd be interested in trading pods. I'm in Guam, by the way. Um, yeah? Just PM me. DM me. Um, next up, TNT Chef. He's, he's actually been... Uh, yeah, he's been subbed for a while. He says, I joined at 2,000 subs. He, he actually joined maybe in like a January or December of last year. So, thank you very much. Next up, Dark Magic PvP. Eat more spicy things. Definitely. Next up. Next up, Alex the Cat. Do you ever plan to challenge the LA Beast to a spicy gauntlet challenge? Uh, that would be amazing. Definitely, um, I hope I get a struck of luck and that I could actually get to do a challenge with LA Beast. That would be really fun because LA Beast generally has a very, it's very charismatic, uh, very, seems very down to earth, really cool. Um, I think it would be awesome to, to do a video with him. He probably would hate it. He'd probably hate me, but it would be so much fun, I think, uh, to see him take something and make a twist out of it. Or, I don't know. Uh, but, Seems like he's one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. Just a really cool guy. Uh, next up, Quickscoper1710. Laugh out loud, your video, bro. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay, time to. So this actually tastes pretty good if you like stouts. I was thinking it was going to be gross, but it actually tastes good. Next up is Truck Kolb. Cool, man. Keep them coming. Thank you. Kaiman OSRS. You got a real nice view. Hawaii is awesome. Thank you for your comment. Bobby Milve, you've made it big. I suggest you treat your subscribers like the tr <laughs> Okay. I'm not going to read the rest. Uh, let's see. Good for you. I think some, some trolls are really fun. That guy is pretty funny, actually. Robert Hubbard, we thank you too, Beast. We look forward to your new material. And keep up the good work. Thanks for your support. Keep on having fun and growing. Robert Harbord's a good friend of mine. Um, thank you. Hopefully I have enough beer last week. And MST Blue asks, what were you drinking in that Starbucks tumbler? Same one. Uh, I was drinking Yerbe Mate. I love your your mate, South American tea. Uh, totally different from tea from China, which is uh, gr green tea or, or oolong tea or black tea. Um, your mate is actually a holly plant uh, loaded with caffeine and theobromine. Uh, it's actually really awesome. You guys should check it out. Let's see. Kangstar, congrats on the 15,000 subscribers. Gaming with Jeb, congrats on the amazing, amazing channel success. You provide awesome entertainment for us to see 
well deserved of each and every one of your views and subs. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting close to the end here. Okay. <clears throat> um, anonymous, congrats. And then next up is Infected Thirteen. Thank you, Wilkes three six three. Congrats. Thank you guys. Tuna Tom, <laughs> interesting name. Do you live in Japan? No, I live in uh, Hawaii or Hawaii. Uh, who strikes? He said he lives in Hawaii. Thank you. Big J twenty six thirty seven. You're the best chili beast. Thank you. Jamie Weber 77. Hi and congratulations. You do your things you could do in the hospital for just wait. You do things you could go to the hospital for just us. I just can't thank you enough for getting me into the pepper phase. It hurts, but it's fun. From Vincent the Chili Boy and Yum the Pepper Lizard. <laughs> okay. Good to work. Nate Smith. What the hell do you do for a living to be living there in Hawaii? I'm an electrician. Next up is Common Place SFC. Yeah, I found your channel from Furious Pete. That's awesome. Furious Pete's one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you. Clifton559. He says, You're welcome. Gotta go video. Love that word. AKA Chili Beast of the World. Thank you. Next up is Helgi Rudd. You deserve all the success. You're the real deal, Chili Beast. I'm still convinced you're Shane Wayne's long lost brother. Maybe you could escalate your subscriber count by parodying him or something like that. I'm not really sure who Shane Wayne is. I'll have to look that up. Uh, but thank you very much, Helgi. Next up is T. Dot Heat. Who is Flavio? What's up, Flavio? Thank you, brother. Almost finished. And I think I missed something. Let me go to the top comments. Uh, let's see. Spired X Fever. Nice to see your channel growing, man. Next up, KL Jong. You're a growing channel. I hope for more popularity to come. And next up is Carlene Fonner Breer. Congrats, Chili Beast. Keep on trucking, my friend. You're doing an awesome job. She makes one of my favorite sauces, Menpa. Check it out. Menpa. Awesome. One of my top three uh, best tasting hot sauces I've had this year. Uh, next up is David Bermudez. Chili, stomach of the fire beast. You are the man. I enjoy all your videos. Keep up the good work. Looking forward to more reviews and crazy and insane challenges. God bless you. Make sure I say Okay. 
and then uh, I don't see here, but I think uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Lauren, asked me what was my favorite food in Rhode Island, and there's too many to, to actually choose just one. So uh, I'm gonna go over. I love Oneville uh, Wieners, uh, New York System hot dogs, basically. <laughs> Gaggers, basically. Or, it's a type of uh, hot dog you can only get in Rhode Island. It it's, has like a meat meat sauce, and they, they, the guy makes them, he puts them out on his arm like this, and then he, he puts the meat sauce on with the onions and everything else like that. Um, really cool. Coffee milk, which another thing you can only get in Rhode Island. Uh, it's a syrup, it's a coffee syrup you add to milk, and um, it's really awesome. you got to have coffee milk with some, some gaggers, um, which sounds strange, right? Milk with hot dogs, but it's awesome, <laughs> really awesome. Uh, let's see, Iggy's which is a seafood establishment in Narragansett and they sell famous for their um, what they call uh, dough boys but actually what's best there is their clam cakes and chowder which is amazing awesome uh, next up I would say uh, amazing, uh, the amazing Italian food especially Marchetti's. Um, excuse me. <sighs> um, let's see, what else? Dell's Lemonade. Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. Um, what else? Oh, Soggy's, which is another kind of linked uh, hot dog. You can only get in Rhode Island. They're called soggies, and they have like a uh, a casing, and you just boil them until they split, and absolutely delicious. Uh, another thing is, at almost every deli, you can get what they call pizza strips. Now this sounds strange, but it's just um, pizza with just the sauce, and you eat it cold. That's right, cold, but it's awesome. Absolutely delicious. Um, what else? I think. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Uh, another thing. Um, Wright's Chicken Farm. Their French fries. Amazing. Best French fries I've ever had is at Wright's Chicken Farm. I think that's it. Alright, so I'm just gonna go over and talk about uh, where I was born in Rhode Island. Dad was in the Navy, so we moved around a lot. And um, you'll notice my channel's name is Gotta Go Video. And I'll tell you a little bit where that came from. I actually came up with that when I lived in Italy. My dad was stationed in Italy when I was only four. Four to six. I was there for two years in Sardinia, La Maddalena, a um, little island off of Sardinia called La Maddalena. And lived in this little subset of Navy housing where there happened, happened to be a lot of Filipino people. One of my best friends was Filipino and I was one of the few people that had a VCR at the time. Not a lot of people had a VCR and my little Filipino friend used to say Gotta go video, gotta go video, gotta go video, gotta go video. Which meant he, he wanted to go see, he wanted to watch uh, movies on, on my VCR, and that stuck. I used to just start saying, gotta go video, it became like a favorite word for me, gotta go video. I love saying it. Come back to Chicago. My dad was stationed in Chicago, um, and gotta go video just kind of stuck with me. Then, gotta go video kind of turned into like a 
you know, I was kind of young. So when you're young, you have a lot of uh, imagination. It became like my alter ego. So I was always the smallest kid. I always got picked on. But do, do you think that I let people pick on me? No. People might have thought I was a shrimp, but in my head, I was huge. The most powerful person in the world. The most smartest. And kind of uh, came up with this Got a good video as like my uh, like my alter ego, almost like my soup like I, like my superhero. So um, I kind of devised that pretty much. That was my you know my my got a good video. It was like my my powerful side. Uh, nothing I couldn't do. Everything was um, possible with got a good video. Strange, right? But I mean. The mind works uh, really interesting how the mind works. Is if, if you can trick yourself into thinking something's possible, then it's, it's possible, right? It's interesting. So one time, uh, Navy housing was right next to, well, let me go back. So Navy housing was right next to projects. Me and my brother both went to the, um, Basically, it was like a, like a black school, okay? Uh, it, was the, it was the ghetto school. Uh, uh, got into a ton of fights all the time. I was known for... Uh, me and my brother were both wrestlers. I mean, we just knew how to take, take people, put them to the ground, and just um, knock them out, you know? So one year for Christmas, I believe I was in the third grade, I got a lime green BMX bike. Really cool. Um, now, I used to drive it to, I used to ride it to school, and after two weeks of having it, after school, I actually got jumped by four kids for that bike. Um, ended up beating all them up. I mean, I mean these, these kids were huge. If you think about it, I was like the smallest kid always in my grade. Uh, and I was a year younger. I was in the third grade, but I was the same age as people in the second grade. Okay? I beat up those four kids, and I got in trouble. Okay? But when I beat up those kids, to me, that was my gotta go video. Okay? That came out. Um, Right then, immediately, I started going to private school. Uh, I don't even want to say what, what the principal said, but I got in trouble for that. Well, I'll tell you what the principal The principal said that those kids were underprivileged, so they weren't to blame. <sighs> Whatever. So, I started going to private school, and wouldn't you know it, because I'm a new kid, they got, I got picked on, and... As you know, I start beating up the bullies, bullies in that school. Um, so that was third grade. By fourth grade, my dad moved to was stationed in Jacksonville. So we moved to Jacksonville, Florida. I hate Jacksonville with a passion. I should do a whole other video just on that. How much I hate Jacksonville, Florida. Um, there's too many things I can say bad about Jacksonville, Florida. And that's it. All I'm going to say is, is, is how the Got A Good Video came about. Is That's how Got A Good Video came about. So that's what it means to me. So that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll just finish this off. see this in the stores <clears throat> it does not taste like peppers it doesn't taste like sriracha but it is actually a pretty good stout so that's it and I actually have a little bit of a buzz going on thank you guys so much and this year is gonna be awesome um, yeah I definitely have a good buzz oh my god I never drink don't drink guys 
if you have a beer or something on uh, special occasions, that's good, but... Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next challenge. Bye, guys.